Hello and welcome back to Adventure Falls and today we are here at Burnham Overy, the North Norfolk coast. We're going to go and have a walk along the North Norfolk coastal path and we're going to go and have a look at the Grey Goose and the Smokehouse which is located just over in the sandbanks. So come along and have a walk with us. Let's go. Yeah, it's such stunning scenery here at Burnham Overy. So we're just going to have a look and have a walk around as well, see what sights there are. Yeah, it's very scenic as well. And we're going to have a look at the North Norfolk coast and hopefully head over into the sandbanks over there where the grey goose and also the smokehouse is located. Yeah, it's a lovely 22 degree day today in the sunshine. Yeah, we've got some traditional buildings here, the Burnham Overy Boathouse. Yeah, also serves hot drinks and all drinks only a pound. Also we've got yeah we've got the, the high tide and the water timings. That sort of shows you what time the tide height is as well. Yeah, I think I've worked out. I don't think you go based on the top of the red arrow. I think you go based on here, which would be eight and a half foot. And then high tide's at six p.m. Yeah, six p.m. tide tide. Relay. Yeah, some nice uh, Tracy Ross exhibition. On the 14th, Sunday the 18th of August as well. Yeah, you've got some nice artwork pictures here as well. Very nice. Yeah, plenty of hidden places to come and visit here. Yeah, it won't be a trip to the seaside without an ice cream. <laughs> lovely. Yeah, it's such a lovely day. And yeah, there's a, a paid car park here. Some of the car parking just towards the village there is also a little bit limited, so you are best off to park in the paid car park. Yeah, we're going to continue on the North Norfolk coastal path there and follow it up to the sandbanks that you can see just in the distance. Yeah, some lovely scenery here as we're making along North Norfolk Coastal Path. Yeah, it's fairly busy. A few people around enjoying the lovely weather. Yeah, so in the distance there you can see the grey goose, which we're trying to aim for, and just to the right of that will be where the smokehouse will be. Yeah, looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, really enjoying the scenery here at Burnham Overy. We've got some cows over there. Yeah, they're busy grazing.
Yeah, you can really see how far back the tide is. Just leaving the boat there in the middle. Yeah, it's great to sit back and enjoy the views here. Yeah, so looking over the grounds of Holcombe Nature Reserve. It talks about how birds are nesting in the season between 1st of April and the 31st of July. Yeah, really are spectacular views. You can just see the geese there in the middle of the grass. Yeah, so we're gradually getting closer to the grey goose and where the smokehouse is located. Yeah, taking in these lovely views as we walk. Yeah, so great views over the marshland here. Looking back to where we've walked so far. Yeah, and there's a great view of Burnham Overview there in the distance as well. So we've made it to the sandbanks just here. Yes, yeah, it's a great, lovely view here. Looking out towards Holcomb. Yes, we're just at the salt marsh habitat. There's even an information board here showing you what type of animals and also possibly insects to expect. Yeah, let's continue on our walk across the sand dunes. Yeah, some lovely views here of the sand dunes. Yeah, very close now to the smokehouse. As you can just see just on the hill there. Yeah, and here we've got the grey goose just in there on the top of the hill of the marsh there. Yeah, some views there of Burnham Overy and the pathway we've just walked. Yeah, it's around a three mile walk, quite close to four. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed your walk? Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been a bit, bit bumpy in places, yeah, isn't it? Not great if you. I'd recommend having a carrier for your little one, or if they're uh, sort of walking rather than in a pram, just because the roof is not the best, is it, for a pram? That's Even it. our one um, didn't struggle too much today, did it? But it struggled more than we would like, didn't it? Really, Absolutely. In yeah. So. I would say if you bring in your little one, um, have them in like one of the carry like um, suck uh, rep cat sucks type thing, or carry them, or have them at an age where they can walk a bit themselves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, we yeah, give it plenty of sun cream well, as well, well haven't yeah, we? On a nice cream. sunny, warm day here. Yeah. yeah. I would say. Probably not the walk to do with a pram if you're going to come the way we have. If you're just if maybe not doing the basic pram, is it? No. no. Mm -hmm. If you're just going to burn them to hold them, you should be fine because that bit was okay, but bumpy. But to get to this point here, yeah, not pram friendly, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a great walk, though. We thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. So we'll now make our way over to the grey goose. Yeah. That's going. So you can see how marshy the land actually is. Yeah, but lucky it being summer, it's all dried up. Yeah, best time of year to come down here is in a dry spell. Yeah, we haven't had too much rain here in Norfolk, not for the last month or two. So it's been quite dry. So we took good advantage of coming down to see the grey goose and also the smokehouse.
Yeah, so we're just in Skolt Head Island, which was a designated nature reserve from 1923, together with Blakeney Point, who were the first in Norfolk. And it's now the National Nature Reserve, owned by the National Trust and leased and managed by Natural England. Yeah, so as you can see to the right of us, is the Grey Goose. Old lifeboat. Yeah, it's an old lifeboat. Or even an ark. Not quite and an sure ark. Of the of it, we tried to look into it, but we can't see much information about it. So, if anyone knows much more about the Great Goose, do let us know. Yeah, please comment below if you know anything more about the history of this. Yeah, it's a good look of uh, the Great Goose. Yeah, the Great Goose Ark, which is a houseboat on the salt marshes. Here at Burnham Overy Stafe, Stafe in Holcomb Bay in North Norfolk. It'd be quite interesting to find out a little bit more for history. Yeah, it's got solar panels on the roof. into the grey goose. It'd be interesting to find out whether you can actually stay there for a night. Yeah, yeah it's a great view of the, the grey goose. The Burnham Overy in the distance there. Great to see the, the grey goose. So we're now going to head over to the smokehouse, just located over the sand dunes there. Yeah, so here we are by the smokehouse. There's an interesting bird up there. Anyone recognise what type of bird that is? Please comment down below. Try and keep the camera still. <laughs> yes, it was a good view here of the smokehouse. It's got plenty of writing on the brickwork. Yeah, again, we can't find too much history about it. So if anybody knows, please comment down below. Yeah, it's been great to visit the site here off the smokehouse and also the grey goose. Yeah, it's such a great place to walk and visit.
right then, we're now going to make our way back. Yeah, and enjoy some more of the scenery as we make our way back. We've thoroughly enjoyed the lovely summer's weather. Nice 22 degrees. Yeah, great sunshine as well, and lovely scenery. Yeah, we're really enjoying taking in the lovely scenery as we make our way back to Burnham Overy. Yes, you can just see the tide making its way back in as we're walking back to Burnham Overy. Zoom up for you a little bit. Yeah, you can just sort of see it moving a little bit. Yeah, it's quite fascinating watching the, the tide come in and how different this will be in the evening time. Yeah, so the tide is definitely coming in now. You can see the boat is now surrounded by water. Yeah, it's quite amazing how rapid that does actually come in. There's a lot of water there. Yeah, some boats making their way back out at sea. Now that the tides come back in again. Yeah, a lot more busier harbour now. We've really enjoyed our stroll along the Norfolk Coast Path. And now back in Burnham Overy. Yeah, it's amazing how busy it is now and how the different atmosphere has changed now since um, the tide is now in. All the boats are on the water and people are heading out on their boats as well. Yeah, such an enjoyable stroll along the pathway, taking in the lovely scenery. It certainly is more busier now here on the waters here. And I think there's a, an event going on with paddleboarding. Yeah, it's great to see. We've had a great day strolling up towards the top of the North Norfolk Coastal Pathway Walk. Yeah, we'll get back today's vlog up. And there'll be plenty of more walks like this coming up on our YouTube channel. We've had such a great day here at Burnham Overy. We walked along the North Norfolk Coastal Path and we went to go and see the Grey Goose. Yeah, the Great Goose is good to see and also we went to go and see the smoke house, didn't we? We did indeed. It's all been a really good day. I loved it as a family. As we mentioned earlier, there's a few points where maybe the pram didn't come in handy as it normally does, but we've still made the most of it today, haven't we? Absolutely, yeah. It's great for all ages and family as well to come and visit. And also you've even got the sandbanks as well to come and see. So great to get onto the beach as well as have a good look around and take away the scenery. Yeah, lots of scenery to take in and it's great to visit. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and leave us with our final words as keep being active. Keep being active everyone, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye.